a discussion online saying, first of all, Benford's Law is a good tool for detecting election fraud. And secondly, if you look at Biden's vote totals across the Chicago area, they do not match Benford's Law. Benford's Law is in the yellow and Biden's totals are the blue bars. There's no match. Whereas Trump's data looks like it matches. Well, I can con But most importantly, what was going on in swing states? And here is uh, where we see uh, the final and uh, the most important finding of this case study. We can see that in swing states, if we count uh, the deviations from the Benford's law for the Republican vote count, we get a p-value of 60%, which is basically means that the first digits of Republican vote counts were very closely aligned to the Benford's law. But if we look at the uh, chi squared and the p-value for the Democratic vote count, it has been less than 2%. So this deviation is very significant, and it's quite unlikely that such a deviation from the Benford's law from the vote counts for Democrats was uh, attributable to random chance alone. And here we go. The source data, the precinct uh, total voters did not follow Benford's law. I did not expect either of these counts to follow Benford's law. However, Mr. Trump was surprisingly close. So this is definitely a big problem right as a forensic accountant i'm going to be very curious as to why the data looks like this because what should it look like it should look like this whoop right okay so here is the conclusion based on the data benford's law applied to the 67 county votes 7 million registered voters and the data was applied to okay indicates that data is manipulated.